Jesus. I say, put those hands together for Jesus. If you're excited to be in his presence, can you stand on your feet and put those hands together and make a joyful noise unto the Lord? We go send to heaven. Hallelujah. I have a father. Oh, my chief father. He is king of kings and lord of. I say, I have a. How about you? I have a father. Oh, oh my chief father. Oh, he is king of kings and lord of lords. I am a father. One more time. I am a father. I have a mother. Oh, my chief father. He is king of kings and lord of lords. I am a father. I was a father. worship our father who is out in heaven can you hallow his name this morning can you thank him for what he did in your life in january february march all throughout the first quarter of the year thank him for all seeing you into the fourth month the beginning of the second quarter can you appreciate this god for this april this wonderful april this april of our father just lift up your voice and, and worship him for strength for good health for all the victory for all the provision all the answer prayer all the backing all the support all the help oh give him glory thank him thank him thank him thank him thank him thank him thank this god because he's he's just awesome he's just awesome he's just awesome in jesus most wonderful name we have prayed I tell someone who say a louder amen. amen. Your first prayer point as you lift up your two hands to heaven this morning is that Father, amen. you can do better. Say, Father, amen. all throughout this month and beyond, let everyone around me know that you are my Father. Can you go ahead and touch to the Almighty God? Oh, let everyone around us know that we have a father. We have a father. We have a father. Let everyone know that God is our father. Let God do that thing that no one, no one will be able to look down on you. They will know you have a father. Maripo Takasanta Libaba. Kapada Brodo Kasin Telele. Thank you, mighty father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I just somebody will say a louder amen. amen. Lift up your two hands and take one more prayer point. I want you to take that prayer point standing. Lift up your two hands. And say, Father, Father. you can do better. Say, Father, Father. Anyone, against me, anyone against me, planning any evil against me, oh God, my Father. Let them know you are my father. Defend and fight my battle. Can you go ahead and talk to him? Masako Lebrande Kasin Talala. Anyone fighting against you? Pale Badega Santa Libaba. Prokoto Basanta Lala. Bokazin Tendele. Poshianda Laleka Suntalia. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worshiped. If my father can hear a louder amen, amen. it shall be so. Amen. Daddy, we are grateful. Awesome God, we say thank you. Indeed, you are our father. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. 
thank you for the first quarter of this year thank you oh god for the beginning of this second quarter thank you oh god for you will leave no one in doubt everyone around us we know we have you as our father and for anyone walking against us anyone against us daddy prove that you are our father defend and fight all our battle and before we leave here today the fatherly blessing lord release upon us in the name of jesus lord let us receive the blessings of the father in the name of jesus thank you mighty father for we pray in jesus name can you say that amen three powerful times now turn to your neighbor and say my father is your father I told you an I told you Yoruba man. Say, my father is your father. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. If you believe God is our father, shout another hallelujah. Lord, be seated. Time is of essence. Celebrate the King of Kings. Amen, 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 amen. What is happening next Sunday? Huh? I say what is happening next Sunday next Sunday is resurrection Sunday and I can assure you it's going to be special here uh, you don't believe me by the time you come you will know that it is special praise the Lord I say praise the Lord before the Easter Sunday there will be Good Friday am I correct and as God will have it, this year Good Friday is our Holy Ghost service. And it's a special one for children. And the theme is Divine Touch. Divine what? So we are all expected to come with all our children to be anointed. Praise the Lord. And so I encourage you, please and please, it's going to be a public holiday. Endeavor to be at the camp on Friday. Praise the Lord. And of course, Sunday will be our Easter Sunday. It's going to be another Sunday of what? Celebration. The celebration of what Christianity is all about. The death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And of course, the first anointing service for Good Morning Holy Spirit comes up tomorrow. You are not excited. And the theme for tomorrow is the Father's promise. Or the promise of the Father. And the Father promised you anything? It shall be downloaded. <laughs> I say it shall be downloaded. Every of his promise over your life shall be downloaded. In the name of Jesus. So, endeavor to be in attendance and while coming, come with the anointing oil. It will be prayed upon and you also anoint yourself with it. And also, I want to encourage you. I told you that we are here last Holy Communion service. If you are a true child of God, please and please don't miss the Holy Communion. What did I say? What did I say? So please let us endeavor to be here by 5 p.m. And the Lord bless you really good in Jesus' name. The topic, like we started it yesterday, is what? Say it loud and clear now. Our Father. I will just spend a few minutes to say some key things. And then we go into celebration. And then from tomorrow, good morning, Holy Spirit, we begin to do justice to the theme of this month. 4 John chapter 3 verse 1 to 3 is our test behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God is there sons of God in the house therefore the world knoweth us not because he knew him not beloved how sorry beloved now are we the sons of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is and every man that hath this hope in him 
purified himself even as he is pure praise the lord then matthew 6 9 pray then in this way our father who is in heaven hallowed be your name praise the lord who is a father with your bulletin who is a father with your bulletin oh yeah go to the front page and tell me who a father is did you see there who is a father do you see it your bulletin i think what we have there is sufficient to tell us who a father is as an introduction in our bulletin we say a father is the male parent of who a child the word father is a family terminology is a family what terminology that differentiate the parents of a child for the parents of a child you have who the father and the mother as the father he has certain responsibility towards the child it could be social it could be spiritual it can even be emotional and father and children had legal relationship praise the lord and that is why the father carries out certain obligations towards the child and that's why my father in heaven we meet up all his obligation towards us in the name of Jesus. Fathers offer specific provisions to their sons and daughters, to their children throughout the child life cycle. No matter how old you may be, if your parents are alive, you are still a child. <laughs> Am I correct? No matter how old you are. I remember some times ago, during the COVID, my mother called me after greetings and exchange of pleasantries. She was now telling me, Hello. <laughs> You know what a shechecha is? Eh? Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't go to where they are fighting. Can you imagine? At this age. <laughs> Let's somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> a father will always be a father. And a mother will always be a mother. They have some specific provisions to their sons and daughters. It could be behavioral psychological or even spiritual praise the lord they are the one that shape or shape on the lifestyle of the child praise the lord a father is the source of life a father is what source of life and is the channel through which the child come to life praise the lord and the father is the head of the family a father is a leader a father is a teacher a father is a provider a father is a defender a father has a covenant with the child. Am I correct? The child look up to his father for all his or her needs. Am I correct? And this description apparently represent who 
our father is who what our father is talking about father beloved brethren there are three categories of father how many category three category we have biological father and when you look at a biological father he has tremendous influence over you as a child and he can also pronounce blessing on you and blessings of fathers are often than not irreversible if you don't believe me read Genesis 27 verse 27 to 29 when Jacob pronounced blessing sorry when Isaac pronounced blessing on Jacob by the time he saw appear and was begging the father to bless him also his father told him I have blessed him and he will be blessed I am pray for you. Your biological parents will not have reason to curse you. They will only bless you. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. A father, talking about biological father now, can decree the future of his child. And if you don't believe me, read Genesis 49 verses 1 to 20 you will see how Jacob began to decree into the future of his children he called Reuben oh excellency of dignity he said you are not going to excel praise the Lord he decreed into his future he decreed into the future of Judah he decreed into the future of all the children and it was so Anytime your biological parents are speaking into your life, they are decreeing your future. Praise the Lord. That is why the Bible enjoins you to honor your parents. It says, Honor your father and thy mother. Your father can shorten your life. Your father can do what? When you fail to honor him. Because the word of God cannot be broken. Brother, we need to take these things very seriously. If you still have your biological parents, please, sir, please, ma, take care of them. Why you always say amen to that? For the Bible says, Honor thy father and thy. And what is the attack blessing? That your days may be what? Now, if you now fail to honor them, what have you done to yourself? You are shorting your life. By implication. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Talking about biological father. They always desire that their children are greater than them. And that's why Isaac was greater than Abraham and Jacob that later became Israel was greater than Isaac. Can I pray for you, sir? Can I pray for you, man? May your children be far greater than you. Because of time, we have spiritual fathers. Spiritual fathers, you may not believe this, but that is the truth. They are superior to your biological father why he has higher authority than your biological father praise the lord that was why in first Samuel chapter 16 read from verse 11 to 13 jesse never wanted david to be among the children that will be considered to be among his sons that we consider to be king through of us but the one that was having higher authority commanded the father he said are ah, all these your sons he said there remained one he said he's in the wilderness 
and the one that has spiritual authority that the father had told the father he says sent for him because we are not going to sit down till he does what and it was the one the spiritual father said would be the king that became the king not the one that the father wanted is somebody with me that tells you the enormous power that a spiritual father also carry praise the lord i say praise the lord your spiritual father can alter your destiny that was how the destiny of Saul was altered to become king in first Sabbath chapter 10 verse 1 to 10 praise the lord praise the lord David's destiny was altered his father wanted him to be a shepherd boy but the spiritual father altered the destiny of David for good may your destiny be altered for good yeah. if you are saying amen say loud and clear yeah. your spiritual father can cancel generational causes over you praise the lord that was why it was Elisha that cancelled the generational curse over Jericho. Can I pray for somebody? Can I pray for somebody? Every curse is from your village and from your father's house. It shall be of no effect over your life. If I say no, I say loud and clear. Your spiritual father can cancel any appointment you have with death and that's why i can stand here this morning and i decree for somebody under the influence of my wherever you are you will not die this year the numbers of your days shall be fulfilled every agenda of death over your life i cancel it in animal jesus that was why when the son of the widow the, the, the Shunammite woman died it was Elisha that brought him back to life Elisha cancelled the appointment with death praise the Lord praise the Lord your spiritual father issues spiritual cancer that can better your life praise the Lord he can also commit you or he can commit God for your sake your spiritual father can commit God for your sake that was why Elijah committed God for Elisha praise the Lord second Samuel sorry, second King chapter 2 verse 9 to 15 when your spiritual father blesses you the results are always enormous and that's why I'm praying for you all the days of your life you will be blessed you are saying amen, say loud and clear. Yeah. Then talking about our father, as I begin to round up because of time, he is greater than the biological father, he's greater than the spiritual father. Praise the Lord. He can reverse the decision of both the biological father and the spiritual father. He is the original source. He is what? Original source of life and original source of all provisions. I repeat, he is what? The original source of what? An original source of what? All provisions. And that is why he is the only one that can supply all your needs. Can I pray for only one person? In that name that is above every other name. Our Father in heaven will supply your need. That was why when the disciple came to Jesus to teach them how to pray. He said when you pray, pray that our Father in heaven hallowed be if you read what I said, thy kingdom and thy will be done as it is in and then what follow? Give all this day our day. Can I pray for you? Every day of this month, God, we embarrass you, we bless you. 
because it is the mouth of our father i decree everything you need in this month physical spiritual financial material it shall be supplied that's why in psalm 24 he said the act is of the law and the fullness thereof the bible says he created all things he's the source the original source the original what source he's greater than your biological and spiritual father because when he speaks it is done when he does what when he speak it is what can you lift up your twin and say lord speak into my life today only one person is saying that one i say he will speak into your life if you are saying them and say loud and clear he is the only one that can rewrite your destiny our father can do all that's why he took peter a fisherman in Luke chapter 5 verse 1 to 7 and he rewrote his destiny and he said Peter upon this rock I will build my church and gate or hell shall not prevail there are many instances in the bible where our father changed the destiny of people Levite was condemned to scatter by his father but when Moses stood and said, Who is on the Lord's side? And it was only Levi that said, I am on the Lord's side. Instantly, our father rewrote his destiny such that only Levite that doesn't labor and yet they eat. What other tribe of Israel labor for? They bring it to the Levite. He made them his own firstborn. Praise the Lord. That's why I beg you here today don't live here today without coming to the side of the law because he can only be your father if you are willing to be his child and that's why he said come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy land he said what i will give you rest can i ask you sir can i ask you ma'am how many of us want to be a child of god how many of all if you want to be a child of god that's why he can be your father if you are not yet his child meaning you have not made up your mind to run away from sin because if you read james 1 17 there is another father can you give me james 1 17 there is another father james 1 17 is somebody on the system is this one james huh Praise the Lord. Every good gift. No, no, it's not James 17. I am looking for Father of Lies. Is it for? Eh? Sorry, just a minute. There are many fathers. Just a minute. Please pardon me. Engineer, if you see before me, you can project it on the screen. Father of lies. Satan is father of what? Father of what? Lie. So you are either a child of God or you are a child of who satan and what differentiate the two is like father like son like what when you are a child of god you follow after your father's footsteps am i correct and if you are a child of satan what do you do you follow after the footsteps of who satan and what separates the two is righteousness and unrighteousness is what righteousness and unrighteousness if you're on the side of god you live righteous if you're on the side of the devil you live out you don't even you don't even care you don't even bother all you do is that you just want to do as you like 
brethren you cannot be a child of god and do as you like you cannot do what eh? john 8 44 he said you are of your father the devil and it is your will to practice what the desire which are characterized of who of your father he was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him when he lies he speak what is natural to him for he is a liar and the father of lies and have truth can you see the bible can you see the bible very direct so it is either you are a child of god or you are who eh? because devil is also a father devil is also a father but the bible says his father what lies he does anyhow brethren if god should appear today can you boldly look at him eyeball to eyeball and say daddy stand on your feet because of time stand on your feet I told you that word father is family word terminology you can switch over to him this morning he is a merciful one he is what very very merciful all lies close your bad on your head He can change your destiny. He can cause a positive turnaround in your life. If you are here this morning, you want God to be your father. I told her that is superior to both your biological and spiritual father. Provided we want to take up his character. His character of righteousness. His character of holiness. If you are that fellow this morning, can you lift up your right hand and I pray with you? You want to say, I want to be a child of God. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. 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 If you don't mind, can you just take a step and come to the altar? My brother, my mommy, please come. Please come. Please come. Please come. Please come. If you are outside and you want to be a child of God, please come now, wherever you are. Ushers, can you direct them? Can you direct them? Can you direct them? Can you direct them? I'll just count one to two because of time. One to two. One to two. I'm waiting. Ushers, are they coming? Are they coming? If you check your life and you have no resemblance with God, I told you it is like father, like, 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 like father, like son. If it's the other way around, it only shows that the devil is your father. But you can cross over now. One. One. I'll count only two. Two. Can we all please step out our head towards our beloved brethren at the altar and just pray and say, Lord, accept them as your children today. Lord, save their soul. Ward them clean by the blood. Just pray for them. Just pray for them. Then you yourself can pray for yourself and ask God for mercy. For mercy, for mercy, for mercy, for mercy, for mercy, for mercy. Thank you, Father. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Gracious Lord, I don't want to thank you for the life of this. Your children standing at your altar. They have come to identify with you to be their father. Forever, oh God, be their father. Ward their sins away and pardon all their iniquity. Do not allow devil control them anymore. In the name of God the Father, God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. Kindly follow that, my sister, one minute. Let's put our hand together for Jesus. Because of time, I will not want to pray for you now. We will do that immediately after the Thanksgiving. Uh, we need to do the Thanksgiving in the next five minutes or thereabout before Daddy takes over for those that will be attending the second service. So, over to you, Pastor. Put those hands together for Jesus. Amen.